The $8.5 million WPT Montreal Online Festival has concluded and it finished with a very special event in memory of a legend, the Mike Sexton Classic. 125 entries at $10,300 each and Daniel Javoris took it down, winning almost $300,000 for first. Daniel, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a really good run. It absolutely was. <laughs> you, let's talk about that run. You had two double knockouts on the final day, one to burst the final table bubble. The next took you from five-handed to three-handed, two crucial moments of the tournament. Now you've obviously played a lot of hands in your life, but even for you, that's got to have felt pretty outrageous. Yeah, as far as final tables go or deep tournament runs go, that was the smoothest sailing by, uh, by a long shot. I got in uh, ace six suited versus two pocket pairs, five handed, just two aces on the flop. I'm like, cool. Well, I guess we're three handed now. And then I saw the winning hand as well. Like you had a beautifully disguised hand to just lock up the victory. Did you just feel like luck was on your side that day? It, it was funny because the to double heads up and then to win heads up, the, the sacks were basically flipped. Like I was at a two to one chip deficit. I doubled having a straight and a flush draw, hitting the straight draw in the river. And then in the final hand, it was like a mirror image of it. And as it was happening, I was like, hmm, it'd be sweet to hit that straight draw again. And then it just like, <laughs> bink, the river peels off. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty sweet. Do you have like a routine before you get started during the day? Anything like that? On Sundays, I have a routine. Like I always wake up, you know, like three to four hours before I play. I go for a nice long run usually. I live kind of right in the middle of downtown Toronto and I try to drive at least like half an hour out of the city to go for like a nice outdoor run and then come back. Usually I try to sneak in like a meditation session in there, eat and then I'm kind of good to go. Oh, that's just a dream morning routine. <laughs> this event was created in honor of Mike Sexton as WPT Montreal was a key event in his life winning his WPT title there at Playground. Did you ever get a chance to play cards with Mike? No, I had one very short conversation with him at one of the WPT events, uh, and he was just uh, very vibrant, I guess would be the way to describe him. Uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't get a chance to really get to know him. I've only heard amazing things. As part of the tribute uh, to Mike, this event raised $40,000 for the Nevada Partnership Homeless Youth Charity, one selected by Mike's family. And uh, thank you, Daniel, for contributing to that. Now, we see a lot of giving back in tournament poker. What is it that you enjoy about poker that allows you to play for philanthropic causes? Poker is a very, especially at high stakes, it's a very cutthroat sort of environment. It's a zero sum game, right? Uh, so if you can find a way to give back, then that provides a nice balance. Yes, I agree. And poker, actually, I heard, isn't the only high stakes game you play. Nick Petrangelo was speaking about you guys. You play a train game or something? Oh yeah, we play Ticket to Ride, but we don't play for high stakes. We were uh, playing a lot of it up at uh, his house in Canmore. But yeah, it wasn't a high stakes game. It's just a really fun board game. Daniel, you locked up your first ever WPT caches online on Party Poker this season. Will we be seeing you playing in more WPT events to chase that Sexton Cup? Uh, for sure, yeah. If there's a high stakes poker tournament, I'm in there. So yeah, you don't really have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, looking forward to uh, etching your name on the Sexton Cup at some point in the future. Yeah, let's hope so.